threat of disaster is never pleasant. Welcome to the Casual Preppers Podcast. These safety measures are essential. The only place for prepping, survival, and entertainment. This will be your source of survival instructions and information. Every member of the family must be coached in the business of survival. Here are your hosts, Cam and Kobe. We're here. Yeah. It's gonna <laughs> happen. Man... So this is an interesting episode today, it is. right? It is. Let the folks know what we're talking we're about. Just, you know, it's time that we felt we have enough content. <laughs> we've yeah. had enough comments. Yeah. That it was time to read some of those awful comments. Yeah. Let's, I don't know if, if any of you have ever done any social media and mm-hmm. you're going to, you're going to suffer these same comments, yep. but we're going to share ours because yep. they're great. And we got and about 10%. they're pretty funny. It's about ten yeah. percent of what we could really, really be talking about. Like you There's so to, many. You have to dig deep. Yeah, it just took a lot of time. So not really. We're excited. All of them. Yeah, yeah I know. Pretty we much are every, excited. Everyone. There is something else that makes me super excited. What's that? It's a book. Oh, it's the a Bible? preppers. Oh, medical handbook. Oh yes. So medical care, mm-hmm. self reliant medical care, is a key part of survival mm-hmm. and prepper and all kinds of survival medicine stuff. Like, just your whole thing needs to be surrounded by medicine because that's what my career is, and that's the only thing that's important to me. <laughs> that's no, true. really, yeah, yeah. there's a huge part of um, prepping that involves medicine, and I think mm-hmm. one of the easiest ways to learn it is to just get a book mm-hmm. by a prepper, by a survivalist, by a doctor, yeah. William W. Forgey. He provides the basis of prevention and identification of long-term management of survival medical conditions. The book will like get you to the point mm-hmm. of what you're needing to fix. Maybe it's a missing tongue, a dislocated finger. That's in the the tongue concussion. Chapter. He's got all kinds yeah. of stuff. You get you know you get a porcupine needle. It's probably in there somewhere. I guarantee. If you're it. building your bug out bag and your medical kit. It's in there. Mm-hmm. So really, it's one of the best books that I've gotten that has to do with prepping and self reliant medical care. Yeah. It really is one of the best. And you can get it at preppersmedicalhandbook.com and on Amazon.com. Just go get it. Beautiful. Like I can't explain it to you. It's the best book ever. Just go get it and read it. Right. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. So today, yep, we're talking about uh YouTube, um, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook comments that we have gotten, whether they be funny, mostly they're just dickish comments that we've gotten. <laughs> people just being buttholes. Yeah. Like it's never ending. Like Cam and I have talked and for forever about doing a video called Assholes on the Internet yeah. where we emulate these people. Yeah. We st- we even do it like now. Oh gosh. Like yeah. that has nothing to do with like previous comments. We just act like the people that comment on our videos. Yeah. Like I'll be getting on my truck and it's like a yellow truck. Where are you gonna go <laughs> up in the mountains get lost with that, huh? That doesn't yeah. It's, it's just, just like there's so many experts. Oh my gosh. Um, there's so many people that want to critique what you want to say and do. And we're just like you know us. Yeah. We're we're idiots. Yeah. Obviously. Like in the very beginning, it uh. was a little bit like, oh dang it. But then you're yeah. like, this is gonna happen no matter what. It doesn't matter what you do. So it could be perfect. So we, we just welcome thought, your stupid comments. Oh, we thought we would get some of the, the videos that had some of the most comments and we and we talk about some of them and read them. So we're pretty excited about yeah. this. I think I'm gonna start with the first one. And this one, I can't even remember what video this came from, I don't but remember either. it was one of my favorite comments of almost all time. I don't time. know if it was a compliment or a comment <laughs> or a know. negative comment. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Still one of my favorite comments of all time on a YouTube video. Um, and this is from Captain Orange. This was about a month ago. And this was the entire comment. Discount Matt Damon looking <laughs> fairly Jewy. <laughs> that was that was the whole comment. Oh, man. Kobe said it to me and I was dying. Oh, my gosh. Seriously. But And then the whole Discount Matt Damon thing it kind of caught on. And a lot of people were yeah. using that. As a comment, because Cam does look like from a the side, side profile. Yeah. I've got kind of a Matt Damon look, but <laughs> Matt Damon, Matt Damon yeah. look. <laughs> that sounded just like friggin' Forrest Gump. That was awesome. <laughs> Matt Damon look. Matt Damon look. Don't look like comfortable look. shoes. Yeah. So um, that one was funny. I don't even remember what video that. I don't was know. On. I don't remember either. But, but it was funny. I am a discount Matt Damon. You really are. Yeah. I'm like Kroger brand. <laughs> yeah. Or yep. Equate. That's so medicine. So the next, the next, pretty much twenty minutes are gonna be comments from 
the the biggest video we ever put out, the the most popular video we ever put out, but also the least popular video we ever put out. By far the most <laughs> negative comments. The most negative comments. This isn't even all of them. But this is from uh, The Bigfoot, the film that we put on YouTube. It, it's on Amazon it's Prime as well. But uh, this is like a never-ending plethora of, and I didn't even put all, this is literally like 10% <laughs> of the bad stuff because a lot of them were the same. Yeah, yeah. So I only picked some of them. So um, there you go. You want to start with Buddy oh, Myers? Oh, yeah, let's talk. Buddy yeah. Myers. He says, what You should have stayed still. <laughs> That's such a good comment. <laughs> we should have just sat there for an hour and a half. In the one spot, just <laughs> the whole time. You should have stayed still. <laughs> Hell, that's awesome. Some sometimes those videos they're just too much for a lot of people. Yeah, but too yeah, much that movement. Just, you you should have stayed still. <laughs> yeah. Sat there for now. I'm gonna comment on this. Yeah, stay still. Maybe next time they'll get it. Bud Myers knows. <laughs> you can't be watching different directions no. of the camera all the oh, time. Oh hell, too much movement. <laughs> um, this one came from Estelle Harrington. You don't sound like squatches to me. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. I think maybe it was from our Squatch calls, like our, oh, our Bigfoot yeah. calls. Yeah. She's saying that she knows what Sasquatch yeah, sounds I heard like. I a million times. You ain't even close. Yeah. Estelle, thank Estelle you. Estelle knows. You don't sound like Squatches to me. Yeah. That's a good one. Sapiophile or something. Sapiophile, that's the name, yeah. Sapiophile. They hit trees as a form of communication. To, this is okay. This is the best. This one, is man. like a professor that's like, I'm bugged by this. Yeah. They hit trees as a form of communication to indicate how many subjects in their view and other things. It's a sort of Morse code. Yeah. Morse code. They also imitate bird and animal sounds. People think it's a joke about hitting trees. It is, in the sense that people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> you really should you really shouldn't do tree knocking because you don't know what you're communicating. Yeah. So we were just banging. You know, yeah. but it's a form of communication. Yeah. You know, you can't just go out there and bang a tree. You got to be sending code. Yeah. So we don't, we could have been saying something like, if, yeah, well, I don't know, <laughs> straight up curse words. Yeah. Milk, bread, cheese. Yeah. Milk. Oil change right now. <laughs> you know, who knows what we were saying? Mushroom backpack shoe. Peanut butter egg dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch like I ain't dealing with these free what are these guys these idiots? man uh, yeah so we didn't know what we're doing stop knocking on wood alright <laughs> idiots this one, this one's a good one <laughs> peanut butter what was it <laughs> peanut butter egg dirt no, it's from the scrubs episode was it remember when he's like reading his mind or something I can't remember what it was and he says peanut butter egg dirt I don't remember that <laughs> that's a good one God, I've watched them all a million times so this one came from Korea <laughs> Korea, that's Korea. Korea Lily. Lily. <laughs> Korea Lily. I won't spell it out. Yeah. This is this phonetic spelling here. Yep. Why know you put fruit banana apple so easy big food come <laughs> to area because smile fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I've never been so insulted. <laughs> no. I don't know if I should be insulted oh. or taking notes. Like I don't know what's happening. Oh man. Why you know put fruit banana <laughs> apple so easy Bigfoot come to area because smile fruit. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> I read it like ten times. I'm like, am I missing? Like, I know. Where I, is this going? I was confused. Why you know put fruit in banana apple so easy big food come to area because of smile fruit? <laughs> this big fruit? I think big food is Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe. Yeah. This is a voice text gone and, and, way and wrong. And smile fruit means he likes fruit. <laughs> so he would come if you put... He smell fruit. fruit good, yum. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, that was Kareel. That one was good. That was nice. Trickle me, trickle me beast. Ooh. Trickle me beast. Tr video in English with English subtitles ruin the whole video for me. <laughs> <laughs> watch don't know how long that's the best is when i love they... how we mid mid video <laughs> mid watch. was like i'm gonna throw this comment video in english with english subtitles ruin the whole thing for me i'll watch i don't know how long i don't know how long. i'll let you know how long i make it <laughs> like we're sitting there reading them as they're coming in you <laughs> know this is pissing me off right yeah. now i'm gonna watch this but i just don't know exactly how long i'm gonna be watching <laughs> All right. You gotta be kidding me. You yeah. gotta read English and listen to it at the same time. <laughs> I'm like, the English subtitles are for people who can't hear you, yeah, idiot. I don't know. It's people, I don't get it. Yeah. These uh, comments will never make you sense. You can turn the subtitles off, by the way. 
Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> you got to click it. all these videos. I'm so sick and tired of people just having English you at the bottom. Click of them. stuff <laughs> on all of them. Ugh, oh, that's it. awesome. This one came from RJ. Um, you have done poorly in your research. Sasquatch does eat people under certain circumstances. Research native encounters from before the industrial age and the missing 411 documentaries. <laughs> okay. How do you read the fit missing 411 documentaries? I don't know, nobody can find them. Yeah, they're, they're missing. missing. But I just love that. Sasquatch does eat people, you idiots. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> do your research. I was watching until you got to that saying, and yeah. I'm done. I'm out. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be watching now. There's quite... <laughs> And I'll give it a few more minutes. Yeah, we'll see. This is ridiculous. I'm doing it under protest, all right? <laughs> Linda Bayet. Bayet. You need to wrap your camera. <laughs> it, it okay. wrong. You need to wrap your camera it wrong <laughs> with the unplugged bags and the... T- <laughs> I can't even read this. It doesn't make any sense. Everybody's going to be like, that's just cam reading. <laughs> no, no, this, is this really one really is. Yeah. You need to wrap your camera it wrong. With the unplugged bags in and tape, keep all the rainwater out. <laughs> it's like, you need to go to the doctor because you just had stroke, I think. <laughs> I can't stand this. You need to wrap the camera wrong with the unplugged bags in and keep the tape all in the rainwater out. You see what they're doing on this show? Those idiots. <laughs> Honey, look at what they're doing. Yeah. Can't stand it. You need to wrap the camera in the wrong. Linda, out. All right. <laughs> Linda, out. This one came from Bob DeFrank. It's yeah. like Beavis and Butthead do hiking. Yep, totally. Oh, that's a good one, Bob. Yeah. They're very creative. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever said something like that. No. <laughs> Jeremiah, Jeremiah, yow. Yow. I think you reduced yourself to absurdity uh, there when you gave only two options. Is Bigfoot a missing link or an elaborate hoax? Those two? This is garbage. There goes the scientific method out the window. <laughs> <laughs> like we're scientists. I know. I'm like, oh my gosh. He did they not watch the people first? were like super I, I just like how many people went into this like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna learn something about Bigfoot. Oh, it's hell. about time. Taking notes. <laughs> this shit's going down. You know? There ain't nowhere in here that the scientific <laughs> method is used. And well, I like how are they even coming to this conclusion? We were reading children's books about Bigfoot and yeah. they were worried about the scientific I know, method. Right off the bat. Like, yeah, they like, thought that that was like, I can't believe they're getting their information from children's book. <laughs> this tells you immediately oh, how hell. serious we were about yeah. this. Scientific method, out the window. Out the freaking window. All right, this one came from Cheeky Newman. Uh, this says, <laughs> this, is, this is awesome. You had several spirits pass between you and the camera. Oh, yeah. If you look hard, you can see the moving blur of a spirit. The spirits will also cause the cameras to go off. Did you not hear the scream around 107 or 10712 timestamp? It was behind your voices as you were talking. Also, the weird feeling you had in that one area was because there were several Bigfoot around and they were that were cloaked <laughs> and it's it's in a portal area. It's just a theory, however. I've heard some weird shit people have gone through before getting that weird feeling. <laughs> I love how he's like, it's a theory, but he's like breaking it down. Like, specifically, I saw the spirits. It's a theory, though. Yeah, it is just a theory. But I'm seeing them. But I saw them. <laughs> yeah. Two spirits passed between us and the camera. I didn't know that. I didn't see it. I didn't feel it. No. It was weird, whatever it was. It really was, but oh well. Maybe next time we'll see the spirits. But yeah, apparently it was just a bunch of Sasquatch surrounding us that were just like, <laughs> look at these two idiots. I know, it's like you had, like, they were there. There were several Bigfoot there, yeah. is what he says. So many people commented on the screams in the I background. I, I can't I, divulge what I, was yeah. going on there. <laughs> I have never put anything in there, too, to explain it, but. Yeah. Uh, oh Gary well. Pitonak. Mm. Bigfoot's watching now. He's in, <laughs> he's in his angel dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like the simplest place to put it. Like, he ain't in a, like, altered, you know, dimension. It's the angel dimension. Angel dimension. Actually, a spiritual being, not an angel, but he's in the angel dimension. As far as I as know. As far as I know. Edit, That's- you call this a documentary? When you guys grow up in question, then I'll tell you about Bigfoot. Till then, keep watching Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh just uh, like the comment tries to sound so I like know. highly sophisticated and way beyond what we understand it's and so it's awesome. like it sounds so terrible 
This it's one, in the angel dimension. I can't believe you two idiots don't get it. Go watch Bugs Bunny. Update. Ugh, you guys are idiots. Watch yeah. Bugs Bunny. This one came from Flono McFlooney Lou. Um, <laughs> no, your grandpa never says the word like. You get, yet you guys say it every fifth word. You should rename your channel Casual Valley Girl Preppers. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would be so, like, totally yeah. cool. Like, if like we did. cool, buddy. Yeah. Like, Flono, like, <laughs> Flono McFlooney, you. Yeah. Lou. We do say like we do it a little too often. Once the Sorry. camera goes, on. I was just listening to a comedian and and, and just out of curiosity, I started counting. Yeah, and he said a ton too. Yeah, so it happens. It just happens. We're all valley girls. Yep. Kelvin Jones, mm. new measurement of manlyhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna Kelvin Jones's two. Uh, if <laughs> if those carvings are Bigfoot, it must be an interdimensional drag queen <laughs> with a hat and necklace. <laughs> You professional, your professional approach to hunting probably couldn't prove that bears exist. <laughs> Enjoyed it though. Could have spent, could have spent the hour watching something informative. Ha ah, LOL. Oh my god! You got to read the uh, the oh, rest. Of, this is a whole Kelvin thing. Jones Bigfoot. I know. Uh, yeah. So this is us. Kel- oh yeah. This is Kobe. To him. Kelvin Jones the Bigfoot. I know um, can be whoever they want. They can they can like Bigfoot boys or Bigfoot girls. They can dress however makes them feel like a real Bigfoot. <laughs> Don't put Bigfoot in a box. Let Bigfoot be who they need to be. I was like, Kobe had some I got, really good replies. I got to the point where I just started, like, I didn't for but a while. But he did say, oh, well, he thought it was way funny. He did, yeah. I got to the point where I started replying ridiculous crap back to him just yeah. because I was so sick of it. But Some were pretty good about it. Yeah, they were. This one came from Michael Moore, probably oh, the filmmaker, yeah. Gotta be. This guy looks too much like Dexter. <laughs> That's you. I can't watch, but I'll listen. <laughs> well, I didn't really understand what that meant. Like, I don't know. I can't either. stand looking at it. I don't know. But apparently you look too much like Dexter. Yeah. I've heard that one, too. Matt Damon. I don't kill people. Uh, mixed with Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> Dexter, Dexter Damon. De- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Matt Dexter. Um, Christopher Volkswagen. <laughs> VW. Christopher mm-hmm. VW. Thank you for wasting one hour, 15 minutes, and 15 seconds <laughs> Of my time for nothing. And next time, if you think you hear something, don't play music over it. And Kobe said, Christopher VW, you're welcome, Christopher. Shoot us an email and we'll refund your money in full. <laughs> uh, uh, I love, there was a ton of those that I were know. like, you just wasted an hour and 50. Dude, you watched an hour and 15 something you weren't getting into. You wasted it. Yeah. Idiot. We didn't say, yeah. if you commit to starting this video, <laughs> you, have to you can't stop or Bigfoot will kill you. Pass this on to five friends. <laughs> exactly. It's like a chain letter. Yeah. <laughs> you got to watch it. Yep. That's yeah. exactly what. This one came from Joe Nuclear. That's awesome. Yeah. These guys in the beginning act as though they've never retained any information they've ever heard in their lives. <laughs> they have to Google time my. Choose every morning. Oh my gosh. Then I said, uh, just Googled how to respond to negative comments on YouTube from very critical strangers. <laughs> uh, such a good comment. Good job, good Joe job. Nuclear. Yeah, take that, nuclear. Love nuclear stuff. Margot, Margot, or Margot, why? Margot. Dude, no crappy sounds in the background, please. <laughs> at about one thirty-two, one minute in, or is that? Yeah. Yeah, At about one thirty-two, I almost had to bail on your dock. <laughs> Thanks. You made it further than most. Congrats. This is for us. Mm-hmm. Well done. And keep the trajectory and your life will be full of joy, money, and all the mac and cheese you can handle. <laughs> I love that one minute in. Yeah. I can't. Okay. Already complaining. Wow. This one came from Annan Alley. Mm-hmm. This is not as funny as the other Dumb and Dumber movies. <laughs> that, just... was, that was good. Oh, hell. You realized it was. It was. Dumb yeah. and Dumber movie. Hugh Morris, pretty damn pathetic. (laughs) All that and the first thing you do is run away from something when you have no idea what it even is. Pointless. (laughs) Gosh. And here's a comment. Hugh Morris, we knew exactly what it was. It was a damn Bigfoot ghost chupacabra (laughs) monster. (laughs) Scary. We knew exactly what it was. Just didn't get it on film. Yeah. Um, Bastard. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, Pretty pathetic. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This one came from John Franklin. I hate to be critical, but you guys came across some wildlife in the dark and it sent you running like a couple of schoolgirls back to the camper. <laughs> so then I wrote back. I hate to be critical. I wrote back, I hate to be critical, but thanks, Captain Obvious. 
<laughs> Seriously, it's like, I <laughs> okay, I get it. Oh, I didn't even realize we did that. Oh, geez, thanks for telling us. Hell, thanks, John. Franklin. Didn't notice. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, this one's good. Johnny Brown. Why are you guys so damn silly? <laughs> That's the best comment. Seriously. <laughs> Super short. And he had to comment to yeah, say that? Apparently, yeah. I got to know. Why are you guys so damn silly? Yeah, I just got to figure this it's out. It's like, doesn't make sense to me. Let me know. And then uh, <laughs> comment, Johnny uh, Johnny Brown, we are just born silly billies. <laughs> Who takes the time to comment? I, I don't Why know. are you so silly? Uh, this one came from State. St. Park and Cell. Here's another one. Though. Needs to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so he wanted to write quiet, but he didn't know how to spell it. So, But he put needs to be quiet. I will say 90% of people that comment <clears throat> yeah. do not know how to, no. to use you know, any proper grammar. No. English can't spell. It's pretty obvious. And that's what I put. Uh, quite better? Quite good? Quite what? <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't know. And they didn't reply yeah. to me. Bastards. <clears throat> you, what does it mean? Sell quiet better. <laughs> quiet good. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, you're an idiot. <laughs> he doesn't make any sense. Mm. 40 mm. going on dead. Waste of time. Get serious. Mm -hmm. And why don't you read that? <laughs> so, he, then we wrote, uh, you didn't think that was serious? Didn't you see the blood, sweat, and tears involved? <laughs> we had to get permission from our wives and everything. Serious, dude, no joke. I really hope you make it to 50 going on dead. With our modern technology, all things are possible. <laughs> he said, ha ha, dude, seriously, beauty reply. Sorry to tread on your work. Great score, though. <laughs> <laughs> it turned him around. It did turn him around. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Mike Welch. Mm. I feel like I've read that name before. I know, me too. Has to be some of the worst howls I've ever heard. Yeah. LOL. Funny yeah. shit, though. Oh, you should nice. probably keep prepping for the apocalypse. Leave this to the professionals. <laughs> what professionals? I know. And then reply, I know. I like watching the pros, too. It's awesome when they haul in a trophy <laughs> Bigfoot every time they need head out on a hunt. We just don't quite have our methods perfected yet. One day, one day, we will hit that level. Just have to put in the work. <laughs> I just like leave it to the professionals. Like what professionals? Yeah, what what categorizes somebody yeah. as a professional? Like I don't get big it. Footer, big footer, mm. big or squatcher. Jeez hell. Michael Halstead. I have to give you credit for trying, but it's obvious you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> and then he misspelled your, so that just re replied. That is, that is a good one. I just replied come back on your. <laughs> you are spelling, yeah. You are. Neil Williams. Well, that was utterly crap. <laughs> <laughs> People are so mean. They are. Oh my God. Neil Williams uh, replied to Neil Williams. We tried our hardest to bring back a fresh Bigfoot kill, but we couldn't make it happen. I understand the disappointment. <laughs> Neil Williams, Cash Pepper. Ah, uh, uh, no problem. Better luck next. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reply. Like, oh shit, they replied to me. Oh, uh, no problem. Better luck next time. Yeah. This one came from Mao 007. Not impressed with the content, disrespecting these creatures' habitat. <laughs> <laughs> so then I replied, not impressed with this comment, disrespecting my comment section. <laughs> oh, man. That's uh, pretty good you came up with these. Cause, oh, uh, hell. Um, not impressed with the comment. I don't think these guys could find a squirrel, let alone Bigfoot. <laughs> a squirrel. False. We counted about eight squirrels on this outing. We didn't even try that hard. <laughs> False. False. No reply. Yeah. No reply. no reply. This one came from Randy Durbin. Seriously, guys, RTF, are you thinking we can't hear any of these noises you're supposedly hearing due to the swirling, eerie music you have playing in the background? So please, if you want us to take you seriously, then knock off the stupid, <laughs> swirling, eerie music in the you background. You to write it all back out again. <laughs> and make it for a real documentary. <laughs> He was Stupid, pissed. swirling, <laughs> eerie music. I'm tired of copy, it. Paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, <laughs> paste. Stupid, what did I write again? <laughs> swirling, swirling, eerie, eerie yeah. music. That's what you write, honey. Go Do ahead. it again, yeah. Put it in there again. The put same it until line. they know not to yeah. write the swirling, eerie music. Did you put swirly earring again? Because that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> honey, what's that swirling, earring, eerie music, man, there? Swirling, yeah. earring. Earring, <laughs> yeah. Um, Pam Smith. Oh, Pam. These two guys are acting like goofballs, not pre not prepared to run into Bigfoot at all. They act like it's a joke for their own 
<laughs> yeah. So serious. Uh, For their own good, they should just mosey out on out of the woods and hopefully never go back. Okay. This is Bigfoot's territory. Yeah, Get out. That's right. Reply from us. Ah, yes. Can't have fun in the woods. It is a constitution. I th- it's in the it's constitution, a- I think. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You're not supposed to enjoy it. It's nope. Bigfoot's terrain. It's exactly. all seriousness. Gail S., that has got to be the absolute worst background music ever. Too bad I would subscribe, but not if I have to listen to that nasty background. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> nasty background. So I was getting nasty. so mad. I'm like, dang, how about some ABBA or maybe some Tupac? Should have known. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Jeez. I don't get what, what, was, what were people, this like a dead silent movie? Just I don't know. Of no music? Not a clue. Music would make movie. Yeah. Music what make movie. <laughs> that was a good a good line. Yep. Virginia Delgado. Boring. If you if you Boring. if you both too scared, just sit on the porch. <laughs> if you too do if you both too scared, just sit on the porch. Wasted my time on this video. Wasted my time. And then uh replied, Oh Virginia, if only we had your courage. We hope to one day, one sweet day. And she was like this old lady too. That was the best Virginia part Virginia Delgado. Yeah. Yeah. This one came from Mike Hunt, of course. <laughs> Mike Hunt. He says... <laughs> this He's going around commenting everywhere because it's yeah. so smart. He says, this show sucks. And I replied, Mike sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I didn't even pick up on that name. Nice. Yeah. Lalo Trisatero. Two thumbs down. <laughs> Amateuristic. Very poor footage instead scanning the tree line or into the forest he puts the camera on dude looking at something we should all be looking at boo walk of shame for these dudes (laughs) it's like all caps it's all caps and periods after all of them yeah i'm like what was he doing here it doesn't really make any sense kobe replied tell us how you (laughs) really feel yeah (laughs) good crap so that that was the uh that was all bigfoot all bigfoot like and that wasn't even uh, wasn't even all of it seriously like 10 percent like yeah They did not like our Bigfoot film, by the way. No. <laughs> 700,000 views. I didn't know that many serious Bigfoot, like, There's a lot of them, man. There's there. a lot. You know what else is You don't a lot piss of, around. Yeah, you don't piss around when you're with talking about With the Bigfoot, Bigfoot information. You want to know why you don't piss around? Because we live in a mad, mad world. It's in constant change. So there's no time like today to prepare for the uncertainties of tomorrow, and nothing prepares you for what's to come, like proper nutrition. I'll bet you Bigfoot would eat nutrient survival. Whether you're adventuring, exploring, passing down traditions, or simply being smart and keeping your priorities and plans in order. It's all the same. Introducing nutrient survival. Top shelf delicious special ops grade nutrition designed to the nutritional standards of the U.S. military, but intended for people like us. Made with real ingredients made in America to keep Americans healthy, strong, and alert. Perfect for today. Ready for anything ahead. They have hearty, delicious entrees and nutrient-dense snacks. They have immunity-boosting drinks and strength-building shakes, each with 40 essential nutrients. 40, Cameron. Available in handy singles, daily-use pantry packs, and 3- to 90-day survival kits, keeping your world safe and your body in peak condition. Head over to NutrientSurvival.com. Use our code CASUALPREPPERS. You're going to support us, plus you're going to get 10% off anything you buy over there at Nutrient Survival. That's great. Go get it. I don't it's, get 40 nutrients in a week. Not, not even close. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. So moving on from Bigfoot. Yeah. How about uh, a video about guns? Oh, my god! I don't remember which one this one was. Doesn't you put matter. These in here. So. Doesn't matter. Yeah. There's so many mm-hmm. gun videos that mm-hmm. we... So I just lumped them all together. Okay. Guns, seriously, like, I'm never posting about a gun again. No. No, no. It's not worth it. I'm not... I'm not... And I never will claim to be... Like an expert in guns. Yeah, yeah. I just won't be. Um, it, but I've grown up with guns. I've used guns. I don't use them the best way possible, and apparently everyone else does. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. um, this this first one was just a video that was showed. Oh, man, I can't even believe. It. And they're all like critical of my brother in law. That's like loading the gun. I'm like, oh really? <laughs> that's tough on us. Yeah. I don't, don't you realize it's not us? But it doesn't matter. Um, so Frederick. Frederick Moaning. Mm. I never thought I'd live to see the day where, is that a peck? 15? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Some other gun term. 
15 would sit on a rifle alongside a garbage tier optic. <laughs> awesome so, comment. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, Super helpful. Yeah, it's so nice to hear those. It's just like you're, you're posting something fun. Like, we're just posting, <laughs> I just, I think it was a video posted of shooting um, some explosive targets. That was it. Yeah. Didn't have anything to do with the gun. Mm-hmm. Didn't have anything to do with, like, what I was using. But somebody had to comment. Yes, they Super did. Super genius that has, like, <laughs> all the most, like, education mm-hmm. when it has when it comes to AR-15s. This one came from Your Huckleberry 98. Definitely not how you load an AR mag. Yep, there you go. Cry, laugh, face. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you even know what a bullet is? Yeah. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thanks Helpful. for taking the time to Helpful. comment. Helpful. Don't even explain how you do it. Yeah. That ain't how you do it. The real Mitchy Mitch. You could always push the round straight down on that AR magazine to make it easier rather than shoving it through the front. <laughs> There's, oh my but it's God. like, I mean, I guess you kind of explained. But yeah, that's it's still, it's like, least. thanks, buddy. As long as bolt's in there, doesn't matter. It's like they can't stop themselves. They can't. They have to comment, comment and critique. Yeah. It's like, well, this is where I'm an expert. So yeah. I'm if you had a black gun, yeah. it would be darker than the green one. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Did I you see you have that? your gun sitting on the tailgate? Yes. Or if somebody comes around the front, mm. that doesn't make sense. What if the tailgate falls off? Did you think about that? <laughs> yeah. You know? Those are the comments. This is like so useful. Yeah, like, thank you. Uh, Balto Elder 0810 says, dang, watch your flagging. Holster it before you turn around. Yeah. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like you, uh, I don't know. I can't even comment. It just mm, drives me nuts. Yeah, yeah. Daniel Rowan Painting Service. How's your painting <laughs> service, Daniel? Daniel. And your gun service, apparently. Mm-hmm. Dumb dumb with a gun gun. <laughs> yeah. That's all I put. That's a pretty good one. Thanks, buddy. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Gores two one three two point five yards is the ideal distance. Yeah, shooting at a target. I think that one's up. more for fun than yeah. you know, but that's okay. That yeah, one, that, that one doesn't bother me as bad. That's true. That one's true. Yeah. Um, lean forward, not back. <laughs> Got that? I get that one all the time. Yeah, it's like okay. Yeah. Like you're you're supposed to use. I don't know. Just like when you're out, just kind of messing around a bit. Like mm-hmm. you have to. Like I hate that you have to sometimes think about being like. Perfect. Like you're shooting in a competition, mm-hmm. like your top shot every yeah. second. I don't yep. know. You do. You do. So then we got some medical videos, right? That we had some uh, mm-hmm. comments on. Mm-hmm. I think I could probably play this one. I don't. Does it make sense to play the audio of this? That would these things sound? I don't know. I don't know if they would either. But we could try it. If you it could try uh, that one. This was an improvised nebulizer. Yeah. Video. So. Um, yeah. Do it. Why not? Then you guys kind of. Hey, so here's a quick little improvised medical tool for you asthmatics and COPDers. Um, right here, I have a nebulizer tubing, and this is not a nebulizer, just a basic tire pump inflator. But being that it's a compressor, you can use it instead for your asthma or COPD medication. This is all just so like first great information, add your right? Medication in there and get the tubing all set up, and then I just put on this little adapter. You can just use the direct line. And then just push it on the tubing. And then just set it to compressor mode. And then let it start breaking the tire compressor. It's pretty cool how it does that thing. I know. Besides it works just like a nebulizer. Out, um, a machine yeah. that costs. these compressor well, types. Well, it's cheap now, but. Yeah. Even the ones that will plug into your cigarette lighter will definitely work in a pinch if you are without power. Yeah, There's so, the key at the end. Mm-hmm. In a pinch, if, when you weren't prepared power. for it and you <clears throat> didn't know what else to use. Yeah. But Samuel Henderson took <laughs> yeah. it a different oh, way. Yeah. Okay, make sure it's greaseless and oilless design. Do not just breathe out of a freaking air compressor, for F's sakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, that's great. dude. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty funny. It's just they don't catch the whole point of like, I know. this is like. I think that's part of the problem is people come in to some of these videos they swipe through they don't know what they don't know it's a a prepping channel that we're talking about these things that yeah we're not saying to do this instead of getting a nebulizer yeah (laughs) we're saying if it all comes down to it and that's true with tiktok it is throws people off but for sure they should also research 
before they comment. They should, absolutely, like, yes. I don't know where I'm at, but I'm yeah. going to comment on it. So then you did a video on suturing. I didn't have that one, unfortunately, sorry. Um, but this is this is funny because you probably didn't know, but this was I me. Did. I oh, did. Oh, you did, okay. So I threw it in there. Just <laughs> so this was, was me funny. that commented. It was a video about suturing, and, and I wrote on there, do you even know how to suture? Maybe you can suture your mouth shut. <laughs> it's because just I knew that there was going to be idiots commenting, so sometimes yeah. sometimes we'll like preempt the idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and like, put hey, a, if it gets his comments, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. But that one was funny. Yeah, I didn't know it was you. It was okay, like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, y'all know, mm -hmm. I don't have the greatest English in the world. Sure, yeah. I don't really give a crap. No. Dana Stovall. Stovall. Did you seriously just say especially? <laughs> it's especially. <laughs> Com uh, co you commented on this one. Did I? You were like, oh, alert, uh, grammar police. <laughs> oh, really? I yeah. didn't I don't remember that. But it's just awesome. like, okay, I just gave you, you know, quick tip information yeah. that doesn't cost you anything, but thanks for the grammar tip. Yeah, it's super helpful. Yeah. This came from user 474 Um, Handle needle with instrument, not fingers, <laughs> and show us how to palm the driver. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> thanks. Thanks for the critique yeah. on the video. Uh -huh. Let me do it ex like specifically, specifically. Let me do it especially good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of comments that are like that, that just are like, I want you to do it this way. Yes. Specifically for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, okay. Exactly. This one was on our super glue video. Oh, okay. Yeah. When yeah. we, you scratched your hand open. And you super glued it. And we super glued it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you want to read this one? Fatty yeah, Mateo. Fatty Mateo. Good thing you sanitize with alcohol only to then flush it with unsterile water, hand to face, or hand to, like, oh my god, that, that was backwards as F. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Fatty Mateo, for the for pointing that out. That we're like, in the wilderness with no medical supplies. Yeah. It's like an improvised medical tip. And it's not like we were using water out of a toilet. I know. It was like water out Your of a cup that we hadn't used. leaving it with all the freaking dirt in there. Yeah, that's so funny. People are, again, people are Medical idiots. is another one that people are experts on. Yeah. And. <laughs> this one's funny. So many of them. <laughs> this one came from Medusa Dancing Club. I like this one too. Is this a medical procedure taught in clown school? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even mad good. at that because it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. I don't even care. Yeah. yeah. And I put in here Anthony Magia. Fake. <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean, fake? <laughs> no. Like, it's not. The blood know. was fake. The yeah. uh, expertise was fake. The the blood was real. Like, the I really. The forest was fake. <laughs> the bag was the fake. The water was fake. The super glue was fake. I don't <laughs> His know. Love was like, fake. <laughs> But it really was. I cut my hand. Like, yeah, it seriously yeah. happened. There was a couple other comments on there. They're just like, this is a sissy wound that you oh, don't even need to, like, repair. Like, No, okay. it's, I mean, it was deeper than it looked in the video, though. Like, right. And it was more like, hey, let's do a video. I just cut myself. Yeah. Let's show them how to super glue it. And people are like, super glue doesn't work. It doesn't stick on hands. Or something. Like, okay, it, whatever. It worked. It you actually know. worked fantastic, yeah. by the way. <laughs> it worked great. Still has it on. Yeah. Still has his I hand. I haven't got a finger. No sepsis. Still got the stuff on there. <laughs> so the next one, it just says vehicle. I don't know what that means. But... Well, yeah. Oh, okay. These were, these were videos just about your, on a vehicle. Your truck. Oh, okay. Whether, yeah. <clears throat> um, this says, you going to camp. I think he meant to say camo. Camo it up. Yeah. Camo. Otherwise, that yellow is going to stick out. Yeah. Yeah. Get a lot of comments on my truck. Being yellow. As our bug out vehicle. Yeah. As my bug out vehicle. Just At, me and Colby's bug out No, vehicle. it's ours. Yeah. Cameron. Yeah. You said it. I heard it's it. So you many, all heard it. So many people are just like, <laughs> yeah. that yellow's not going to get anywhere. But it's yeah. like, how do you change the know. original? Again, though. Then, it's like, so serious. It's like... <laughs> We like we like we like the color of it, Cameron. Right, yeah. and so it's not worth it to change it. I'm not gonna go put digital camo on on a truck, not, yeah. just because it would be better in the apocalypse. Yeah, exactly. That's probably not gonna happen, <laughs> right? <laughs> People, yeah. and then that's all. That's other comments that we get all the time. Yeah. Way to t t thanks for teaching us tips that are probably never gonna be used because this yeah, will never go. Will never yeah. happen. Of course, right? Yeah, exactly. Funny, the, this was like on our BioLite video. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I thought this was funny. Uh, the comment, so BioLite 620, when I was setting it up, mm -hmm. like I was talking about it, and it, you know, it shows the... It has like a date and a time. has a and date stuff and a time. Yeah. He's all, Big Jake's life. Is no one going to mention the 3 a.m.? 3 a.m.? <laughs> what about the date? Homie's a full day in the future. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. 
I didn't yeah. even notice the time wasn't uh, right, no. and it was like in the future. I don't know how it was in the future. Like, I don't know. How does a date get messed up that Doesn't way? make any sense, but it's yeah, true, though. That was one. So this one was talking about ferro rods versus lighters, right? <clears throat> yeah. So RWS says, totally disagree. You sound like you're high-tech. You sound like you like your high tech gadgets. In a survival situation, low tech is better tech. Every time. Just my opinion. Stay safe. <laughs> like high tech, and he's talking about a lighter yeah. being high tech. Yeah. This is way above and beyond anything. It's not any prepper should thrower. ever use. It's not a flamethrower. It's not a digital not a fire maker <laughs> like it's lighter. Like, it's not, not an a- app on my phone that makes a fire. <laughs> this is a lighter. Whoa, 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 what the high-tech garbage? <laughs> what? There's plastic involved. Bring your millennial trash out into the forest, and you're yeah. not going to. My grandpappy would roll over in his grave if he saw you doing that. <laughs> As he's using a computer and a <laughs> yeah. cell phone to type a comment on. I use, uh, this is internet, I know, but. <laughs> Honey, I'm going to reply. Can you bring the torch over here? Yeah, bring it over here. We're going to send this via carrier pigeon. <laughs> To these guys, <laughs> comment right to them. Return, okay, <laughs> Return. honey. Go ahead and extinguish yeah. the candles. We're going to bed <laughs> <laughs> on the ground outside. <laughs> I don't want to be too dependent on my TikTok. <laughs> I, know. I get ten minutes a day. I make five comments and I go back to sleep. That's it. I don't see technology all week <laughs> after that. I ain't gonna use it. I, I got a fake one. I have on a leaf that I pretend sometimes. That's it. <laughs> I got a leaf. I call that my TikTok. <gasps> ah, I'm just pricks. Big old maple leaf. I ain't going to get used to it. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> ain't gonna don't get a- too comfortable with those <laughs> leaves, kids. Yeah. We don't live in a world with leaves all the time. Yeah. User 303359. Mm-hmm. It's only useless when your ego is in the way. This is again mm-hmm. with the ferro yeah. rods. Better be better to be skilled with it than not to, and have it. But oh my god, <laughs> better to be skilled with it than not and have it, but can't use it. Man, it's so hard yeah, to read really, some of these. That was a good one. Um, yeah, useless. Your mm-hmm. ego. How does your ego get in the way of like a fire starter? I'm not really sure. Ma, your ego's too big. The ego is the enemy. Yeah. So this one says food storage. So this must be about food storage. This was in your house. Yeah, your food storage. Oh, okay. Video. <clears throat> so this one from Game from Cal Coaster. Oh, no, no. This is the food storage video in my parents' basement. Oh, your basement. parents' basement. Yes. This one was so weird. This is the weirdest comment ever. Yeah. This is an old, like, lady. Old lady. Cal Coaster. All Mormons keep a year's worth of food. Millions of people do canning and dehydrating. It stems from the Great Depression. What's your wet dream? <laughs> I don't, I'm glad you read it that way because, like, <laughs> it doesn't make I read sense. it like three times. I'm like, "What's your wet dream?" Because like, I think that didn't you say something about wet dream in it, like a prepper's wet dream? Maybe I don't not. know. Maybe I don't not. think I did in that video. I'd have to go back and look at but it. But I was like, "What old yeah. lady? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, you crazy old lady? Crazy old hoot? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, go sit on a porch. <laughs> Damn crazy old wombat. <laughs> <laughs> go take your pills." <laughs> Watch your shows. Go see your stories. <laughs> All right? Oh, uh, It ain't just Mormons that keep it. Yeah, that's lots of love. Millions of people do yeah. keep love. canning and dehydrating from the Great Depression. Mormons, Methodists, I'm Catholics. I'm like, man, there's a lot of old ladies that are I know commenting there really is. on here. Yeah. User 5-7, whatever. Uh, I heard on YouTube that those that show their prepping stuff are targets. The National Guards to swoop in and take it. Careful who's watching. <laughs> well, I heard on YouTube. It's just Let me another, tell you. like, paranoid any, any comment or anytime somebody says, I heard on YouTube, you just go, all right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's great. Your, yeah. Your resource <laughs> is pretty funny. Your, your source of information is valid. Was, was speaking of that, we had a white belt the other day who was going up against our purple belt. And before he started, he's like, I got to warn you. I watched a YouTube video before this. <laughs> was he serious? <laughs> it, was, I mean, it was like half serious, but it was it was so damn funny, dude. I was laughing my ass off. But it's like the this is like the I epitome. Gotta warn, I gotta warn you. I watched a YouTube video before this. <laughs> Who was that? Just uh, one of the like a one some of, of you guys normally are with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <clears throat> it's hilarious though. It's like so like par for the course for YouTubers. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a uh, gaff. This was after. Like we did a little video on gas shortage oh, okay. shortly after the pandemic. DJ or dot OM. Yeah. 
You are all so ridiculous. Me, me, me. What do you think? The petrol is going to catch the flu? Fluey. <laughs> Fluey. Preparing is not buying. So preppers are just extra consumers? Question mark. Easy. Learn to be real survivalists. Having a credit card is not sufficient. I have no idea so what So backwards. That means. It's so like it yeah. like goes one way and then it goes another. It's like, are you for preppers or against preppers? You've got me confused. Are you a I'll survivalist give you that. or not? Like yeah. so confusing. That's a great kind of tactic though in the apocalypse. Confuse the hell out of people. Yeah. They'll just leave you alone. You guys look stupid. You storing food over there? <laughs> they don't know how to store food. We're gonna go in the mountains and hunt our own food. <laughs> so what? Hey, what? what side are you on? Uh, that's crazy stuff. If you do want to prep for the apocalypse though. Let me tell you, right now is a great time because you could go to offthegridsurplus.com and you can get 15% off everything with our code CASUALPREPPERS15. They have their all-new redesigned Pro Pant 2.0s. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, Cameron. I want those. I do, too. Off the grid surplus, please. Yes, and then they have the hybrid dry slash wet those shorts. Those look good, too. Oh, New my. button pockets. Yes, those look, and they have cool colors. Some I've colors. like been, I, I keep putting stuff in my, uh, in my cart, and yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, uh, yeah. I bought a lot of stuff from them with my own money. So. Yes, and then they have their. I'm new wearing work, it right now. New work shirts. They have travel shirts, and so you guys just go head on over there. It's it's hot weather now, hot weather time, and that's where you got to get the short pants, and they're great. <laughs> All right. Best shorts I've ever yeah. ever owned. That is pretty high tech though. Yeah. Cuz it's like pants but they've cut them off with some sort of sharp object. Yeah. I don't, so know, I don't know how they've done it. I don't know how they've done it neither. They're probably the first people to make them. Exactly. So go on. They Here's really are great though. Casual Peppers 15. Yeah. Grid Down podcast. <laughs> so this was on a the podcast we did called Grid Down. I just thought it was kind of a funny comment. Uh, is it your turn or mine? Go ahead. Um this came from West Virginia Patriot. Guy in a gray hoodie is hoodie is annoying. Other than that, pretty good podcast. I think that was me. That was it me. Was. Yeah, you were in a gray hoodie. I, I think that I one I was it. all bent out of shape about. I was like, oh, freaking dicks don't yeah, like me. I know. It's. I am it's annoying. I am annoying. No, I every, don't really well, care. we're both annoying. Yeah. Everybody's annoying at some point. Yeah. Like it's just it's so stupid. So then this next video was a, a TikTok video. I think it was on Instagram too, but these came from TikTok. Cam was making a joke. He had his um, some sort of a big like machete type looking thing. He was walking over this bridge and it had a metal um, like rail along it. And he was going down and he's like, this is a tip. You know, you can yeah, actually, I can probably I can't believe sh- how many people feel I can that probably I'm show serious this. about it. Let's see if you can hear it here. What's that? Well, when you go out for a hike, you start your knife. Ah, it's great. Ready to go. So, like, it was just a joke. He was walking by. It was like a handrail that yeah. was metal, and I was just running, running my, like, machete along yep. it. So the first uh, comment came from Jackson Kramer. As someone who sharpens knives as a business, this does nothing but dull the hell out of your knife. Isn't that a business for him? I don't know. I, like, wouldn't he want more people I to would just think so, dull yeah. the... <laughs> But he, like, literally thought we were, like, this is a great idea. Yeah. I can't believe how dumb videos oh, are. Oh, my gosh. People on TikTok are so dumb. Yeah. Ryan, there's another one. LOL. Well, I go out for a hike with a knife that's already sharp. <laughs> also, unless you get both sides, you're just damaging the bla- the yeah, edge. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the comment, bud. Yeah. So then the next one was the- uh, You're the, welcome. The <laughs> rehydration salt. A thing yeah. video um, and people took this one out of context too so I wanted to post a quick little medical tip on most of these are mine so that people are sometimes about. you know you're going to end up <laughs> well, with diarrhea your family member or just being out hiking trying to get somewhere you're going to dehydrate and I really like these tri-oral uh, oral rehydration salts and I'm going to show you a little trick to help rehydrate without IV fluid so these little steps can be applied to just water, but really it's better with a rehydration salt or even just Gatorade. So, so we probably don't need to mix this whole thing. Here. Yeah, yeah. So but these... you can kind of get the gist of what this is. Yeah, little packet, mm-hmm. making a hydro- rehydration mm-hmm. solution to drink and then how to administer it. So the Ian says right off the bat, what would happen if you drank it? <laughs> <laughs> what did he think of? I don't was, think I was making an IV so solution. So I think that was part of the problem. Some people thought that it was IV. Oh. So there was a bunch of people who were like, well, you can't put that. What? That don't make no sense. Because I was saying MLs and stuff yes. like that. And you had it actually in a syringe. Yeah. You know? So there's a lot of people who misconstrued Well, what you I were probably saying. just killed a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, okay. I didn't even see that. Um, 
50 to 100 mLs, dude, we don't give people in septic shock that much fluid. 50 <laughs> to 100 mLs. Like, it's like nothing. <laughs> not a good formula. Don't do this. Yeah, people are just That's why. Off. Yeah, you're right. You I didn't I mean? even think about that. They were yeah. thinking it was injected. People he obviously dumb. doesn't work in medicine to, to think that. I know. For one. And then 50. Uh, <laughs> the next one, we had a, a quick video where Cam like pretended to cut a sign down well, yeah. like you went up to the sign with a knife or like a, a saw, and then this guy says, "Not funny." Do you realize how much we spend on signs every year? <laughs> I mean, we all paid for it, so have at it. <laughs> Here's your sign. <laughs> yeah, so it's so stupid. I know. I knew people would be like, yeah. "I can't believe he's really cutting that down." I know. Okay, so the next I one. I didn't even like. There's not no, even a fleck you of wood. It. You just touched it. Yeah, yeah. So the next one, this one, we got so many comments on. That's so right. I think we need to show this one because it'll make more sense when you hear this. Here's some things you can think about: a gas can with some additional vehicle fuel. preparedness. Every kit. vehicle in the entire world needs to have jumper cables or a battery powered jumper. Get some road flares. Get some glow stick. You have to have a spare tire. And you got to have a jack. Food and water. How about a first aid kit, a toolkit? I prefer a headlamp in, in my vehicle. I have one in my door. You got to have a shovel or even like a foldable shovel, like an entrenching tool or something like that. Um, a vehicle escape tool, uh, a knife, maps, blankets, <laughs> uh, hats, gloves, socks, and jackets, especially when it comes to wintertime. Fire extinguisher, antifreeze, oil, duct tape, toe strap, washer fluid, rain gear, backup USB charger. Toiletries are always nice to have in there. I keep a roll of toilet paper, even having some soap, two-way radios, zip ties, fire starter, a tarp or a survival blanket, cordage of some sort, cash, self-defense weapons, energy bars, energy drinks, energy gum, energy candy, energy, energy, energy. five-hour energy. If you can find six-hour energy, that's even better. <laughs> and then have a way to boil water. So uh, basically, we were talking about things to put in a vehicle preparedness and it, kit. The video is like summarize yeah like it just like condensed all condenses of it. everything right yeah so first comment uh great list but not realistic for most people i have a seven seater for my family of six so i'd have to tow a trailer with all that <laughs> stuff in it <laughs> there was like a million comments like, yeah. just like that one right there and like this stuff we didn't say you had to have everything no we said like here's a lot of stuff you could do and honestly if you put that stuff in there, it's not that much. Yeah. It's and really because not. of all these comments, I made that follow-up video yeah, of just yeah. throwing it in. And when I lined up all that stuff, mm -hmm. like pretty much all of it was already behind the seat of it my was. truck. I yeah. just brought it out. Mm -hmm. Behind my single, you know, yeah, bench single, seat exactly. pickup. It's, it don't have an extended cab or anything. Mm -hmm. Bro, this is too much. But he looks like someone who acts like that. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't like, know what that means. What do either? I look like? I look like someone who puts too much stuff in my truck. You do. You totally yeah. do. And then the next one, triple A card and a phone. Triple <laughs> <laughs> A card works. I never thought about that though. When people are flipping through TikTok videos, yeah, they don't catch the reason mm -hmm. and the purpose. Yeah, um, everyone's really overestimating everything. All this will fit in the backpack, shy of a gas can. And so I put that one in there to say, well, there were some people who actually like did see this and go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it makes yeah. sense. This is more for a wilderness trek than a trip to the grocery store. <laughs> So the whole effing store <laughs> is the <laughs> next comment. Yeah. Uh, POV, my mom trying to tell me all the things I need before I leave the house. <laughs> that was a good one, actually. That is a good one. Yeah. I don't even have that much stuff in my house, says yeah. someone else. Sink, cutting board, library, strawberry <laughs> jam, sewing machine, greeting cards, etc. <laughs> strawberry jam. There was, like, it gets so stupid. <laughs> like The thing yeah. that bugs me the most is there's so many like duplicate comments yeah. that think they're funny. I I'm know. like, man, Not there's, funny. there's like a million of these. Don't forget the Infinity Stones to defeat Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> Thanos. Thanos. I keep an entire replacement engine and a transmission, four wheels and tires, <laughs> an extra rear end, an extra air-powered toolkit in my truck just in case. <laughs> Above and beyond. In my entire life, I've never needed a single thing he listed. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> never. never needed a yeah. spare tire. Never needed. Uh -uh. And yeah, that one's so funny. Sir, where in the Mad Max do you live to need all this? <laughs> That's a pretty good comment. Yeah. A Vogue magazine, fork, spare ribs. <laughs> Picnic table, rotisserie chicken, <laughs> electric shaver, back scratcher. <laughs> that was a good one. This guy lives in Detroit, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave, oven, toilet, a porta potty, sink, 55 inch TV, five days worth of clothes, couch, sectional preferably. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this one I can't figure out. What good is a toe strap if you're in a fight or flight situation? No one's going to help you if you're hung up at. Hung up, you're at a vulnerable position to be. <laughs> yeah, 
Don't like, put the toe strap in there. You're not going to help anybody, and they ain't going to help you. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay. I'll Weird. just sit my family like... I'll just sit my family like they just like they did Granny in the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, a whole ass auto zone. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> just the, <laughs> this is the way that the comments are. Yeah, no. so, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just see somebody in a conference like yeah. raising their hand. So uh, basically, a whole ass auto song. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You're right. Yeah, just keep a little crack through crack. Anything is possible. <laughs> that was a good one. This one, gasoline goes bad. That was the comment. That was it. <laughs> that was it. There was. So, did you put any of the ones in there? It's like I don't like the way you threw that shovel in the window. You no, because this throw- was on the original video. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, oh, that's right, because yeah. I did the... Some of these, I actually have a uh, reply, so the next one, you have the comment and then the reply. Uh, the great? Mm-hmm. Great, but you didn't address the knowledge to use all that in the situation. That also takes up the least amount of space. Mm-hmm. And then a comment. Right. Just seemed like a weird thing to put on a vehicle <laughs> gear list. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> great, but you didn't address the knowledge. <laughs> yeah, knowledge. I'm going to put that one, on the list. knowledge. Yeah. Then a fire extinguisher. Then a... Next one is house, a million dollars, the Holy Grail. Just standard stuff to get you out of a jam. <laughs> the Holy Grail. <laughs> if you need to carry oil and washer fluid in a prep kit, then you're not prepared. <laughs> it begins way back with basic preventative. Uh, what is MX? That? I don't know. Preventative mm, MX. I don't know yeah. what that stands for. Oh, uh, that makes no sense whatsoever yeah. because you still you're want gonna to carry clean. extra oil and washer fluid. You're not prepared already. No. Yeah. And this next one is, I wouldn't waste the MPG on the extra weight. I like my car to be clean, clean. <laughs> but then he wrote waste like W-A-I-S-T, like your stomach. And then I just I just put waste like the way it should be spelled. I wouldn't waste. <laughs> I didn't hear it. That's yeah. funny. Nobody needs all that bullshit, damn liar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I ever He's read that so one. mad at us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just pissed off that we put this. You damn liar. I gotta read that. Sorry, I gotta read that one more time. No one needs all that bullshit, damn liar. All you need is a spare jack four-way lug nut remover and jumpstart cables with oil. G-O-D people these days. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Or G-D people these this, days. This one goes like, maybe yeah. put your... <laughs> you dang liar. <laughs> Damn liar. Maybe put yourself not in a survival situation in the first place <laughs> and you won't need a Walmart aisle in your back seat. <laughs> and then the way he wrote that... I maybe, keep trying to get myself into a survival situation, yeah. so I'm prepared. But who writes it this way? Maybe put yourself not in a survival situation. Like, yeah. who writes like that? I don't know. Freaking Somebody that comments on TikTok. Yoda, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a video I did on potassium iodide tablets, right? Yeah. Um, it's like what they're used for. And then I also talked about like how the price is skyrocketing. Yeah, it's good to comment on you that. Know? Yeah. Nicholas uh, Christie. Mm-hmm. Nothing ain't going to help you. <laughs> That's the comment. And then, then I wrote, is this a real sentence? <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense. Nothing ain't going to help you. Nothing ain't going to help you. <laughs> What the hell? What oh. is this? <laughs> Nothing ain't going to help you. Yeah. Yeah. And Garrett is. said, they won't work if it's world war. Nope. Nope. Medicine yeah. stops working as soon as yeah. there's a world Medicine war. Medicine prevention's over. <laughs> yeah. Out the window. Doesn't make any sense. Jet 3 CH. I hope the nuke lands on my head so I'm instantly valorized. <laughs> <laughs> valorized, <laughs> valorized. I thought it was really vaporized. Well, just trying to put vaporized, but it and says not valorized. walking around like a uh, like a mindless zombie with fallout everywhere. And then Kobe's fall full of velour. Valor. Oh, oh I want to <laughs> say I want to say the valorized. Well, that's the whole thing. Like, I'm dicking put, it all up. He put valorized, so I put he's full, full of, valor. of valor. Yeah. <laughs> You can't read. <laughs> You're not good. Been at a reading. long day today. And this one came from Short King Soldier. Thanks for letting us know before the price went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a ton of those. Oh my gosh. Well, too late now. Yeah, thanks a lot. Do you know you're never gonna get? Okay. Do you know you're never gonna have to use that the day they tell you it might happen? It won't. Okay. Uh, okay. That's yeah. what Kobe put. This doesn't make any sense. Ben Lane 187 says, why don't you tell people before and not after? And I said, well, we did. We've had a podcast for five years, talked about it numerous times. Oh. Okay. And then you said, people that bought it when you told them five years ago, the pills are already expired. 
And I'm like, nope, <laughs> eight to ten years shelf life. Anything else to complain about? God, people like that piss, piss me off so, so mad. mad. Yeah. Why don't you tell people before, not after? I've kind of like, I didn't. You're pretty good at looking at comments to be helpful. I'm like, I'm not even going to look at any of the comments. Lord, people. Artemis Last Art. <laughs> yeah. Last Art. Mm-hmm. What I don't get is why would someone want to live so desperately? Any means necessary. Radiation, more starvation. What about your soul? Pills? What? <laughs> that doesn't make what any sense. What is going on? But it's like, I don't get these people who like, don't want to live. I know. It gets hard. I'm done. Yeah. There's a lot of them that way. Never mind. Yeah. You know? Uh, Hello Me says, government will distribute for free. Welcome to America. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that. Yeah, the government's going to always take care of me. Dr. Drexler, why would I want to live through a nuclear war? Huh? Why? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, you did comment on that one. Are you asking me? Because I don't know what you want. (laughs) Ben says, nobody even got diarrhea. That makes no sense. Doesn't whatsoever. Apparently, uh, that he thought those pills were for diarrhea. Yeah, I, I don't have know. no idea. The VLX says nukes do not exist. All propaganda. Oh my gosh! And this other guy said, absolutely. I would like anyone to find a single nuke anywhere on this flat Earth. <laughs> and then he says, well, I don't know about the flat part. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Like, let's not get crazy. Does not push it too far. Yeah. <laughs> so hilarious. I don't know about the flat part. Yeah. The nukes aren't real, but no, no, yeah. Um, user, whatever. Nuclear weapons are fake. Only used as fear tactics. Yeah. I can't believe people, man. Don't yeah. believe stuff. Uh, uh, is this a lot part of this. Of stuff, I don't know. I don't know what this kind of got messed up. Is like, why don't you tell the people before, not after? You do realize if someone like Russia or anybody sends a nuclear attack, oh, everyone's going to launch at the same time, which means we will all die. Yep. Every every nuke. Yep. It's all going to like as soon as one is launched. Everybody in the world is going to launch one and destroy the planet. Sure. Yeah. So spike the world. If in the event of a nuclear war, run, fly, drive fast to ground zero. You can't prep past a nuclear event. No. Nope. nope. That's the end of the no end. No reason to. <laughs> yeah, people. So that's just a little taste of the comments this that we deal with. This is what we look with. through and see all the time. You can see why we are depressed most of the time because yeah. of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? People don't have any valor. No. They're full of valor. Um, we do have a battle box we'd like to show you real quick because they're fun stuff. This is Battle Box Mission 88. <clears throat> 88, I can't talk. Hey, hey, hey. The first in the basic box is the Inside Edition's Total Knife Manual. This is like everything you'd ever want to know about knives. Why well, do I waste my time on a book <laughs> yeah. when I know what i got to have it does. in my brain. Then we have the Mimetic Super Bivy. That's a, a bivy, but it's super. Oh, it's bigger. Yeah. Ooh. Pretty sweet. Then we have so the many uses for Gear bivy. Aid Extra Heavy Duty Paracord. Bigger Flight suckers. Diff. Yeah, it's like the whole 100 people. Make a whole shirt and yeah. ride your bike. Then we go to the, the advanced box and we have the silent Faraday dry bag, the 2.5 liter. These things are awesome, man. They, they're uh, It's a Protect dry bag, but water. it's also an EMP proof bag. That's so pretty it's pretty sweet. cool. Yeah. Combo there. Then we get to the pro box. This is an awesome thing the Grail 16.9 ounce ultra press purifier. One of the coolest filtrate, mm. like they're filtration so cool. systems. Yeah. We got a grill way, way, way back when we started, back yeah. in like 2016. So you like just scoop it up like a normal cup, mm-hmm. and then when you compress the top part that's a filter, yeah. it just filters through the whole thing. Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty, nice. It's all in one. It's pretty sweet. And then the Pro Plus knife of the month is the Fox Knives Air Fox. That it's thing will like cut Airwolf. your hand off. Why didn't they call it Airwolf? That'd be cool. Airwolf would be cool. Look at that. So that's the ba- latest battle box. Use our code Casual Preppers, and you're going to get a free friggin' knife when you do that. That's pretty cool. It actually does feel pretty good. It's really yeah. lightweight. Yeah, it's a nice little knife. It's they exciting. make nice knives. I nice keep thinking knives. Fox Edge, which is a different mm-hmm. company. It is a different company. Um, so, guys, that's it. That's what we have today for your mindless banter. Worst podcast uh, ever. Worst podcast ever. Comment. I hate this people. Most of the bunch of damn liars. Didn't even get diarrhea. <laughs> Go sit on the so porch. Mad. You damn liars. <laughs> It's BS, dang liar. <laughs> Can't imagine ever commenting that to anybody. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys. Come follow us on all the places that we are. And go ahead and comment. Yeah, leave us a comment. It doesn't hurt our feelings. No, no, we're good with it now. And stay survived. <laughs>